Once again I welcome you to Chelsea Sports Channel, where I bring you all the breaking news from Stamford Bridge and Chelsea FC. Today I have more news coming up. Before we start the video, please subscribe, like, share, and feel free to comment. Chelsea will aim to return to winning ways after their humbling defeat to West Bromwich Albion when they travel to Seville for the first leg of their Champions League quarterfinal with Porto on Wednesday. I expect the boss feels comfortable in the Champions League, knowing that he will have to be ready for anything. He will be happy that this, out of the blue, performance didn't happen in Seville against Porto tomorrow night. That could have killed the Champions League dream in no time. The importance of how the players react to these types of results is critical. Preparing for Porto Porto in the Champions League was always going to be a real test of character for us. Unfortunately, they have now been buoyed by the baggies bagging a bundle at the bridge. From the northwest of Portugal, our defense must have looked impregnable before the weekend, but they will not feel that way now. To underline their credentials, they will remind us that although we crumbled when losing a man against West Brom when they lost a player recently against Juventus they didn't. With an hour of football still to play, they didn't capitulate and eventually scored in the 115th minute to send themselves through on the away goals rule. This is going to be a tough one even if they are not one of Europe's historical biggest hitters such as Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, or Barcelona. Fortunately, I cannot imagine a similar type of game as the weekend one from any of our lads this time, but then we would be very unlucky to go down to 10 men early on. If we do in this one, or indeed any other game between now and the end of the season, Thomas Tuchel will have a better understanding of how we play, how the system copes, and what he has to change to stay solid. Sometimes it isn't the changes but the pace of the changes you have to make that is the vital ingredient. I expect the boss feels comfortable in the Champions League, knowing that he will have to be ready for anything, and ready to adapt to anything, at a moment's notice. More than anything else we need increased energy levels from the start of the game against Porto. If he is fit, I cannot imagine Mason Mount starting on the bench this time and that should certainly help. There is also the age-old line about sometimes looking a better player when you are sitting on the bench during a bad defeat. Again if fit, it is hard to imagine Tony Rudiger not coming into the backline somewhere for tomorrow as his intense defending style was sorely missed. There could be plenty of changes to the starting 11, but the biggest change will be in the level of performance. With the world's most desired club trophy to play for, there can be no doubt we will be up for it this time. Hopefully with our mean defense back at work after a rare day off. Alonso confirms Kepa and Rudiger clash but says it is good for Chelsea. The defender and goalkeeper had to be pulled apart by teammates a day after the loss to West Brom Marcos Alonso has insisted the training ground bust-up between Antonio Rudiger and Kepa Aritha Balaga is good for Chelsea. One day after the loss to West Brom on Saturday, Chelsea's first defeat under Thomas Tuchel, Rudiger, and Kepa had to be pulled apart by teammates. Rudiger was sent from the training pitch to cool off by Tuchel, while the defender later apologized for his part in the spat. Alonso confirmed the altercation took place but feels it demonstrates hunger in the squad and believes it will be a positive for the Blues. These are things that happen, Alonso told B in Sports. It shows the level of competition that is in the team, the hunger we show even on the training ground and it is good for the team. The issue now in the past Alonso confirmed the pair put the spat behind them before leaving the training ground and says it is almost certain that teammates will clash again in the future. Even before training finished it was all good, he said. Nothing new, it has always happened. It will happen again. We have to take the positive and move on and get ready for the next game. Defeat to West Brom dented Chelsea's bid to secure a place in the top four in the Premier League, but their focus now shifts to the Champions League. The Blues face Porto, conquerors of Juventus, in the first leg of their quarterfinal on Wednesday. What do you think? Let me know your options in the comment below. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching.